so Judge, I mentioned off the top of our hour that your family came here. Right. Right, from Cuba. Yes. Wait, I actually didn't even get I into that much was detail. Right. You went through the legal way of doing this. As an immigrant, somebody who comes into this country, what do you think about the president's support, first of all, and also just his, his outright fight to get this done, not just to keep a promise, but because he believes in it? Well, I mean... You know, obviously, yes, my family came here through legal immigration, and, and I was very fortunate that the American people opened their arms to the Cuban immigrants at a time of, of dire need, uh, and I benefited from that clearly, and I understand the, the uh, rancor of other minorities to say, well, you've got a benefit that others didn't, and, and that, that is true. Nonetheless, my entire career has been regarding law enforcement and the laws of this country, and, and I, you know, I, I think that when you disagree with the law, all of us have the same right, and that is to push for a change in the law. We don't have the right to ignore the law. It, it irritates me to see people flaunting the law. When I see immigration activists who are in the country illegally on our own news show flaunting the fact that they're here illegally and being angry about the fact that we are somehow trying to prevent them from being here illegally, it, it flies in the face of, I think it's what irritates most Americans, is they say, well, you know, at least show some humility. You're in the country breaking our laws. Why do you flaunt it like that? So, so yes, I believe that, I don't believe Trump is a racist. I don't believe that he's, he hates Hispanics. I believe that he said, look, the laws are the laws, and we're not enforcing the laws. And what, what, where else in our system of justice do we just flaunt the laws like that and not enforce them? If we're not going to enforce them, then we should remove them.